Hi everyone, uh, today I'll be talking about are you a good Aussie? Now this all started when I was uh, checking my letterbox this morning and inside there was a business card and this is the actual, this is an actual scan of it. So on the front was are you a good Aussie? And on the back, Australia is the greatest country in the world, but are you a good Aussie? Let's see if you're a good enough Aussie to get to heaven. The Bible tells us that to get to heaven on our own merits, we must be perfect. However, no one is perfect. Test yourself. Have you ever lied, stolen, hated, looked with lust, disobeyed parents, or swore? Even for doing one sin, we deserve to be sent to hell, and simply stopping our sin now will not undo our past. But if we have a perfect person take our punishment for us, God's justice would be satisfied and we can enter heaven. Jesus, who is fully God, out of love died on the cross, taking the punishment we deserve. Rising three days later, you can't earn forgiveness by praying or doing good deeds. Instead, it's a free gift. You must repent, turn from sin, and turn to Jesus. Trust fully in his death as the only reason why all your sins are forgiven. Why not do this today? So this is from a group called Operation 513. Okay, it sounds okay, except for the religious part of things. I thought it was fairly okay to say that, you know, you shouldn't lie and you shouldn't... Uh, steel and all the rest of it. So I thought oh, I'd better check out who this Operation 513 are. So this is their website. What is Operation 513? Operation 513 gets its name from Matthew 5, 13 to 16. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and tramped under people's feet. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp un and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Matthew 5, 13-16 We are a group of Christians from different denominational backgrounds who are passionate about fulfilling the Great Commission, Matthew 28, 18-20, to preach the gospel to all nations. Our primary mission is to see God glorified through the proclamation of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and to see the lost come unto salvation. Also, we exist to equip and encourage the believers for the work of evangelism. Evangelism. <laughs> okay, so you can see on their webpage they've got um, the battle log. That's just a blog that uh, talks about the things they do. Um, there's, they've also got videos and so on. So I looked up uh, Operation 513 in the news to see if there was any uh, news about them, and I found this. Street preachers wage holy battle against Brisbane City Council fines. Sounds interesting. Here's a picture. Um, that's one of the workers or volunteers or whatever. A Christian group fined more than $10,000 for preaching in the Brisbane CBD is taking Brisbane City Council to the Supreme Court. The Evangelism Action Group, Operation 513 South East Queensland, is in Queen Street Mall every week. Team leader Ryan Hemelar, I think that's him in the photo there, said council officers fined 13 members of the group more than $10,000 collectively between December 2015 and December 2016. He said the offences related to handling, sorry, to handing out leaflets, stacking Bibles, and allegedly disturbing people in the mall. A Brisbane City Council spokesman confirmed it had issued 26 fines to Operation 513 participants from December 2015 to November 2016. A Brisbane City Council spokesman confirmed it had issued 26 fines to Operation 513 participants from December 2015 to 2016, November 2016. The spokesman said the fines followed complaints and petitions calling for the group to be banned from the mall. Complaints from the public and Queen Street Mall businesses include allegations of extreme harassment with members of the group hurling abuse and insults at passers-by, the spokesman said. Mr. Hemelar said the allegations were blatantly not true and the fines were unjust. The Peaceful Assembly Act 1992 allows us to do what we are doing, he said. If anyone was looking on, they would definitely come to the opinion that we were completely peaceful. Okay, he makes some good points. Now, what's my uh, uh, what's my thought on the situation here? Well, I figure it doesn't matter what they believe, it doesn't matter what anybody believes, as long as they are doing something peacefully and they're following this peaceful 
Assembly Act uh, legally, then I think there's no problem with it. Now, I don't, I'm not religious myself, but I certainly don't want to say that religion should be banned in any way. If people believe in something, well, they can believe in it. And if people want to hand out leaflets, well, they should be allowed to do so. Uh, just for example, if I'm walking down Queen Street Mall and a restaurant uh, hands me a leaflet with their menu on it, uh, that doesn't mean I have to go eat at their house or at, at their restaurant. It doesn't mean I, I could just go throw it in the bin if I want to. Same with a religious pamphlet. If somebody gives me a religious pamphlet, I can choose to look at it or I can choose to throw it in the bin. Nothing wrong with that. Now, the problem is, the problem comes down to freedom. Now, we're either free to... We either live in a free society, and that means I have to put up with people handing me leaflets, fine. Or we don't live in a free society, and people get arrested for things that the government don't agree with. So I don't like that. I mean, if you allow that sort of thing to happen, then that'll hurt all of us. So Operation 513, whatever you think of them, I think they should be allowed to do what they like, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody, and as long as they're not forcing anybody to do anything. Probably the businesses had a big part to play in this, I suspect. The government would probably always side with business. Economy comes first, right? Beliefs are often pushed aside when it comes to money. Money has become a bit of a god, really, hasn't it? Especially for government and the like. So I had a look, further look into their uh, website, and I found that they have a big list of videos. A lot of it's to do with them interviewing people in the street and so forth. And they've also got videos of their, their arrests and so on. So I can understand why they're a bit upset. Um, probably they've got some views that the general public might not agree with, but that's what freedom is, isn't it? Freedom should be you have the right to say things that other people disagree with. As long as they're not harassing people in that they're not following people or assaulting people or whatever else, then I think they should have the right to do whatever they do. So I hope uh, Operation 513 don't mind me using their business card in my little presentation here. Um, I only found it by chance, honestly. I wouldn't have even bothered checking uh, the letterbox on a boxing day. But I thought, oh, I haven't checked it for a while. I better check. And there was this card. So I don't know when exactly it was handed in, but I presume it was handed out towards Christmas or maybe even on Christmas Day. And there you go. Operation 513 are certainly not extremists. I've looked at their website. They're not saying anything f you know, too far out. I mean, they have some uh, they have some beliefs that maybe lots of Australians don't agree with, but then so what? That's what freedom is, right? I don't mind them putting a business card in my letterbox. If I don't want to read it, that's fine. I can chuck it out. I don't mind walking down a mall and somebody giving me a leaflet. Fine. If I don't like it, chuck it out. I think that's fine. And maybe the business, the uh, Brisbane City Council and the Queen Street Mall have gone a bit extreme themselves by trying to boot these guys out. They've been there for 12 years, apparently. They've been there for quite a long time. So I don't know why it's only recently that it's become an issue. Anyway, thanks for listening. I hope you uh, got gained a bit of insight into what happens in Australia or if you're an Aussie yourself, uh, some of the things that go on. I'm sure many countries have this sort of thing. As long as we don't give the government too much power to crack down on groups, especially groups that really aren't doing any harm. Okay, cheers.